Mr. Brockman. I'm Al Brockman. I live at 1901 Northeast 54th Way in Hillsboro. I want to thank you for this opportunity, President Bragdon and the Councilors. A couple of issues I would like to discuss tonight are the fact that I've got 37 years of experience with the U.S. Department of Agriculture working at the local, state, national, and international level. Some of those issues I want to bring out here are noxious invasive exotic plant animal species, locally grown food for national security, and global warming. Primary area of concern is Area 8B. This area contains the drainage of Wild Creek, which flows into McKay Creek, which is an important riparian area. But any land that Metro designates as urban has a strong potential of harboring noxious weeds and invasive and exotic plants and animals, which can readily be displaced on the neighboring farms and become a management problem. These plants and animals become a problem because they're very invasive and will readily take over any empty land or readily displace the plants and animals currently there. With the national and global economy we have in this world and in our local communities, having increased traffic hauling supplies from around the world invites many of these unwanted hosts. A local farmer in Helvetia said, I grow over a million pounds of turf seed annually, and every year I have more batches rejected for sale because of their contamination of noxious weeds. These batches all come from fields surrounded by urban growth boundary lands that have uncontrolled weeds. End of quote. Urban designation allows developers to purchase the land that does not require any management prior to development, which in some cases 15 years, allowing noxious weeds to spread. Many of the common noxious weeds we have here are common teasel, Himalayan blackberry, ragworts, Queen Anne's lace, St. John's wort, Canadian thistle. And just as a side, I get emails from Australia, where I went one time. This list is very similar to what they have in Australia. Worldwide, people are having to combat these noxious weeds because there's no control of them. Many of the invasive species that come in come from Asia, come from China, come from South America. Their natural enemies are not here. We cannot control them at best. We can attempt to stop them as they march across the country. Fire ants came from Mexico. It's not going to be long before they're in southern Oregon, and then they're going to come right on up. Particularly as we have global warming and the whole thing warms up, where are they ultimately going to stop? We don't want them here. Texas didn't want them, but they couldn't control them. They couldn't stop them. We have other invasive species that have gone to the Atlantic Ocean, they're coming toward the Pacific, they've gone northeast, they're going to come to the northwest because they like this country and they have no natural enemies here. I have submitted testimony and I would encourage all of you to read it and thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you.